This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is locus heterogeneity? Answer, locus heterogeneity refers to when mutations at different loci result in the same disease. Examples of diseases caused by locus heterogeneity include albinism, retinitis pigmentosa, and familial hypercholesteremia. Question, what is allelic heterogeneity? Answer, allelic heterogeneity refers to when different mutations in the same locus result in the same disease. An example of a disease caused by allelic heterogeneity is beta thalassemia. Question, what is heteroplasmy? Answer, heteroplasmy refers to the presence of both normal and mutated mtDNA, resulting in variable expression in mitochondrially inherited disease. Question, can you provide an example of a disease caused by locus heterogeneity? Answer, one example of a disease caused by locus heterogeneity is albinism. Question, what is the difference between locus heterogeneity and allelic heterogeneity? Answer, locus heterogeneity refers to when mutations at different loci result in the same disease. Allelic heterogeneity refers to when different mutations in the same locus result in the same disease. Question, can you explain the concept of heteroplasmy in more detail? Answer, heteroplasmy refers to the presence of both normal and mutated mtDNA in cells, resulting in variable expression of disease. This can lead to different levels of severity or symptoms in individuals with a mitochondrially inherited disease. Question, can you give an example of a mitochondrially inherited disease caused by heteroplasmy? Answer, one example of a mitochondrially inherited disease caused by heteroplasmy is Leber's hereditary optic neuropathy. Question, how does locus heterogeneity differ from allelic heterogeneity in terms of genetic mutations? Answer, locus heterogeneity refers to mutations occurring at different genetic loci or positions resulting in the same disease. Allelic heterogeneity refers to different mutations occurring at the same genetic locus resulting in the same disease. Question, how does the presence of heteroplasmy affect the expression of mitochondrially inherited diseases? Answer, the presence of heteroplasmy can lead to variable expression of mitochondrially inherited diseases, meaning that different individuals with the same disease can have different levels of severity or symptoms. This is because the ratio of normal to mutated mtDNA in the cells can vary, leading to different levels of dysfunction in the mitochondria. Question, can you provide an example of a mitochondrial disorder caused by heteroplasmy? Answer, one example of a mitochondrial Mitochondrial disorder caused by heteroplasmy is mitochondrial encephalomyopathy, lactic acidosis, and stroke-like episodes. Question, how does heteroplasmy differ from homoplasmy in terms of mtDNA? Answer, heteroplasmy refers to the presence of both normal and mutated mtDNA in cells, while homoplasmy refers to the presence of only one type of mtDNA in cells, either normal or mutated. The presence of heteroplasmy can lead to variable expression of mitochondrially inherited diseases. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.